morning. I thought we could spend a nice little wholesome, wholesome day together. I'm just about to get dressed, don't mind that. It's not even messy in here to be fair, there's just a big quilt. I've been away, Dan had some, had a mate round. Um, need to sort that still. But yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and this girl is not wearing joggers today. I told myself, I wanna put more effort in to myself. Do you ever feel like that? Like, I'm so lazy. <laughs> like my appearance i'll spend time with my makeup and my hair to be fair but when it comes to like outfits i have so many clothes as you guys can probably tell from the amount of hauls i do but i wear the same blooming thing which is like just joggers she's wearing cargoes i mean i'm still wearing a long sleeve top because it is cold um but i'm gonna wear these cargoes which i picked up just before I went away and I haven't had a chance to wear them yet so I thought today we will wear them these cargoes they're from Pull and Bear but I got them off ASOS I just thought you know kind of cool so let's get dressed I'm gonna cut the camera because we all don't want to see that <laughs> okay see you in a second I'm getting a hoodie because it's very it's not crop that's going on and I think if I just have a coat I'll not be cold I'm going out did I say that <laughs> Of course, we always go out in vlogs, don't we? To the same place. No, I actually want to go somewhere different today. Um, guys, what hoodie are we thinking? I think it's going to have to be black, isn't it? We just go plain black, or I've got, I've got a fleece. I like this fleece, it's from Adam Erla, but I think it might be a bit much. Hoodie-wise, I only really have one black hoodie. I've got my Adenona one, it's like a, it's brown. I mean, that will definitely go. Should we put this one on? I haven't worn this one in a while. And I just need to figure out what shoes to wear. Okay, here's the final OOTD hoodie. It's Adenola. I've then popped on like a brown headband um, to tie in the brown. I don't like just wearing one colour. Like, I like to wear a bit of the same colour. So we've got two browns and then I've got a cream coat. My car goes in cream shoes. So we're all a little bit matchy-matchy. Very, like, earth tones. Um, I still can't decide whether I like myself in a headband. I mean, my forehead is definitely big enough to wear them <laughs> and to cover it up a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to wear it anyway. You know, keep the ears, keep the ears a little bit warm, but I'm going to go this way. No, do you know what? It's not sad. I'm going out to Waterstones. I'm literally just going out. I'm going to go to Waterstones because... I bought a book, actually, it's in my hand, here it is, on holiday, fourth holiday from Waterstones, called Book Lovers. I have no clue when it comes to books, but my little sister loves uh, reading, and I, I have always admired her so much for that. I think it's so cool. Um, she just has so many books, and she just reads so many good books. Like, every time she comes down here, she brings a book, and I'm like, wow, you're, you are so cool. Like, I really wish that when I was her age, I was really into reading, but I wasn't. And it's really, I think I love it for her because these days, like 15, 16 year olds, it's just phones, it's just TikTok, it's just phones. And I am guilty. Like I spend so much of my time on TikTok. And my year's resolution, one of them was to read more. And I read a whole book on holiday, which doesn't seem like a lot. Well, I say a whole book, I've got a few pages left, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I only went away for a week. Um, and I just loved reading. I know probably most people can get away with reading like three books on holiday, but one is good for me. Um, and yeah, I just, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed reading. So we're going to Waterstones and I'm going to go and just see what books there are. Um, I did buy another one actually. Um, I did buy another one, but I'm going to go and um, have a look at what they've got, because I was, I was with Dan when we were at Waterstones, and I just enjoyed being in there. I was like, this is, it's like, it is the equivalent of a toy shop for older people. When I say older, I mean over the age of, like, 10. Um, yeah, loved it. So, I'm going to get a coffee as well. Um, and just have some me time. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that like, my favourite thing to do is just to go out to the shops by myself. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go to Waterstones. I love it. I love it. It's so much more. I'm so much more excited to do this than go clothes shopping. Before I do carry on in this vlog, I wanted to talk to you guys about HelloFresh. We were very 
very kindly sponsored this little section of the video. I have a pretty cool disc Magpie. I have a really cool discount code to give you guys, which is 60 Amber Night. And for a limited time only, that is going to save you 60% off your first box and then 25% for the next two months after that. A whole two months, you'll save 25% off your boxes. So be sure to grab that code while you can. Now, this is normally a offer for new customers only, but if you cancelled your subscription three months ago or longer, you can renew it and use discount code and save yourself money. This is for limited time only, so be sure to, to use it now. Renew your, renew your account and get some yummy yummy food. I will show you guys in a second what we have picked up. So we've got this spicy hoist and beef. Rice meals from HelloFresh are our favourites. Um, just curries and anything they do with rice is just our personal favourites. So I definitely recommend trying one of the rice meals. We've got this one. Oh, I got this as an extra. I thought this could be great for lunch. Uh, Shabbatta pizza bread. You know, just a little extra. I thought I'd try that out this time. Uh, then we have, I'm so excited about this one, the Mimi's Curry Spice Chicken Breast. Um, this looks super, super yummy. And we don't have the other card as we had it for dinner last night, but it was a katsu chicken burger. And oh my gosh, it was 10 out of 10 years. I'm sure you guys do know at this point, but if you're unfamiliar with HelloFresh, it is a food delivery service that brings the food straight to your doorstep. You literally get your ingredient cards and all the ingredients you need. Portion size, we obviously always pick out for two people and we find that it is perfect. For us as well, it just gives us a little bit of inspiration of what to have for dinners. There's so many different recipes to choose from. And like I said, the box comes straight to your door with all the ingredients that you need and your recipe card. And a shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video because you guys are legends and I love and love your food. Big question is, can I remember how to drive? I'm joking, it's only been a week. But do you know, like I normally drive Probably every day I drive somewhere. Um, so I'm like, mm. can she remember? I'm joking, I can't remember, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's go, let's go. It is, it's 12.01 guys. I was like, I'm gonna get it really early. I'm gonna be really productive. Woke up at nine, expecting it to be like 7 a.m. And I was like, how is it 9 a.m.? I think it's a little bit of just jet lag. And did I say I just didn't, sleep on the plane we had a night flight back oh i've just come back from mexico boy hi um yeah we had um our flight took off like 7 p.m mexico time and landed like 8 a.m uk time and i didn't sleep i slept for like 15 minutes but i just can't sleep on the plane um came back napped for two hours and then went to bed at 9 p.m last night and woke up at 9 a.m we are now feeling refreshed finally. I've caught up on my sleep and yeah, so it's now 12 p.m. So I think, you know, I'm gonna get a McDonald's. I'm not going to the gym this week. Scrap that. Um, I'm gonna go get myself a McDonald's for lunch. I love that the sun is shining. And I also love it's fab. And I also love that last night at half past five, it was not pitch black. It was dark, okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't pitch black. And that made me very happy. It's good. Feb's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be a good month. The goods are secured. <laughs> I just spent way more than what I should have, but I got some really nice bits. I'll give you guys a haul when I get home. I didn't feel like I'm at McDonald's because I had a coffee, so I'm not that hungry. So I'm just gonna have a sausage roll instead. Because you can't beat a great sausage roll, you know? You just can't beat them. I find it mad that <laughs> before COVID, like, none of us would have ever sanitized our hands and like covid's literally pretty much over isn't it really and i think i'll be doing it for the rest the rest of my life because it just makes you think about the germs and stuff mm -mm -mm. also as it's sunny i might wash my car because walking towards it, it is embarrassingly filthy. Um, it hasn't been washed in probably like a year. <laughs> it was just really bad to soak in, maybe like nine months. And we have a jet wash at home, so I might do that this afternoon. Because it, it's brown. I mean, it's meant to be black, but it's brown. Um, so yeah. I think I'm going to clean my car this afternoon. Watch me. I won't end up doing it, but I'm telling you now. This is my sign to do it. I'm home. Guys, I had so much fun. I was just saying to Dan how much I just love 
going out, <laughs> shopping, and it was really nice not clothes shopping and just going in different shops. So I went to Waterstones first, and then I didn't realise um, Paper Chase has gone into administration. I thought it was just the shop in my shopping centre closing down, and that's not good, that's so sad, but turns out they're all going. Um, so they had 20% off everything, so I also went in there, but the books that I got was the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I had this up in my office for so long because um, it was amazing. She kept telling me to read it, but it's when I wasn't like into reading, uh, so I never read it and she wanted it back because I think, I don't know, someone else she knew wanted it. So picked up my own and then it's why I'm getting half price. So I've also got the Un Honeymooners. Um, I did spend like a good 45 minutes in Waterstones, like just looking at books and deciding which one to get. But this one, um, it looked quite good, so I also got that one. And then from Paper Chase, I got this really nice little travel mug. I just thought, how cute is that? And it's bigger than the one I've got. Um, this was £14, but I had 20% off it. So I just thought it was really, really nice. And then I got myself a journal. I was just flicking through the pages of this, and it was just so, so nice. It was £12, but again, 20% off, because I had 20% off the whole store. And it was my mind and me. Um, and it's just like really nice things like goals, um, thought bubbles, fill each bubble with things that are currently worrying you or making you feel anxious, then visualise bursting them all. How cool is that? Um, shout about your dreams, write down your intentions for the future, goals you would like to reach and then reflect why they are important to you. I love that one. So I'm going to do a little bit of journaling and then went to, you know, I was on a roll I thought, I've bought some really nice stuff. I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. I'm going to buy myself a candle for my office to burn while I'm journaling. I picked up the candle that I almost dropped, like heart was in my mouth, almost smashed it on the floor. And so it was £29.50. And I was like, I'm not paying 30 quid for a candle. So I just walked around to Next and... Um, I just walked around to next and got two candles that were £7 each. I know I said I wasn't going to burn candles, but my office is screwed anyway. But I got this one for my office, this nice fresh lavender one, and it was only £7. And next candles are really, really good um, in terms of like the fragrance. Like you can really smell them. And picked this one up as well, which was cute. Again, £7. And this was Peach and Peony Fragrance Candle. And then just got some like really boring things from Super Jug, like shower gel that was two for five pounds, deodorant that was on buy and get one free, brush, which I'm actually asking Dan to go into the loft tonight because I know there's a moving box still with an electric toothbrush in it that I've hardly used that I really want to start using, but I still need a toothbrush for like to clean like my invisible lines and stuff. So I picked up another toothbrush because mine, I just need a new one cotton buds and some paracetamol and that was everything on my little shopping trip also picked up an avocado and two naan breads um that's four naan breads actually four naan breads because it's two for <laughs> two yeah we like naan breads <laughs> um but yeah i'm just i'm just uh excited about that also not cleaning my car because dan refused to serve the jet wash for me what was that? I refused. You said you wasn't going to do it, so... Oh, it is long. Although you did say that you will clean our cars on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. So oh, we're, we're out Saturday, maybe Sunday. We're not out till Saturday. Um, always football on Saturday. Ah, yeah, exactly. Not happening. <laughs> not happening. We'll do it on Sunday. Oh, should I just do it? Do I tidy or do I wash my car? Mm. We haven't got car soap or anything, so if you're going to date, you might no, not be a problem. No, we bought for the jet wash. I think we used it all. Ah, uh, okay. We'll go out and buy a car stuff so then we'll clean the cars on. Mm -hmm. You clean the outsides and I'll clean the insides, do you? Mm-hmm. So this one?
Okay. So you get it was like that, I guess. <laughs> the thing is, I bought the piano for me and the guitar was for you. And Dan does this thing that's really annoying where I try and learn something and then he just does it like that. Nah, I didn't learn anything you'd learn. You first started while I was away playing for him to be Oh, was it? Yeah, that's fine. I know. Is it that one? print that I want to find just to mix up a little bit. It's feeling very like spring-esque at this desk. It's all like pinky and purpley and I love it. Um, yeah, I had another print. I just can't remember where I put it. It's somewhere. Just lit my new candle, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to sit in journal, which I, I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am. I'm going to sit and do that now. Um, I feel like I was going to do something else. Maybe I wasn't, but I'm really into being positive this year. It's all about a positive year. We're a month in, so far so good. Um, and we are just going to manifest good things. Manifest kids to that. I was actually gonna move my office around, not for good. I just want a more aesthetic background. This is gonna sound so like us. Set influencer, um, but I just want a more aesthetic background for TikToks. The rail's not cutting it, um, so I was gonna move that and do some TikToks, but the sun is setting, the sun is actually almost gone. Um, I don't like big lights, <laughs> so maybe I'll do that another day. But for now, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna journal. I'll let you guys know if it you know makes me feel positive. We shall see. I'm actually gonna put my headphones on as well, um, because I've got my speaker, but. I don't know if this is gonna make sense to anyone. Blasting music just like direct into your ears. <laughs> Something about that, I prefer it rather than blasting music out loud. It kind of just gets me in the zone and like in the focus. So I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna do that. Little Miss doesn't like a ring light, it's just set up a ring light, but that's because it is so dark, you just wouldn't see me. Um, and I actually hate the big light more. <laughs> ring light than big light. I hate having the big light on. Um, but I've just sat and done my journaling. Guys, I feel so productive and I blowing love it. Uh, it's currently, what is the time? 25 to 6. I think we're going to go have dinner in a second. Dan should have finished work by now. So I'm going to head downstairs, have dinner. And then we've started watching Happy Valley. Um, the last ones to it, I'm aware. But there was so much hype around the season three that I'm like, mm, this is something we should get into. And it seems like mine and Dan's type of thing. So I think we'll have dinner and then um, spend that evening watching some television. But yeah, just came on here to say, guys, sometimes we need to do is get a piece of paper and a pen out and just, just write a load of crap down, basically. Went for 
This is one we went for, the spicy poison bee. We haven't had this one before, have we? I don't think we have. Right? We've had a couple, well, we've had quite a few rice dishes. How good does that look? Go on, taste test. Taste test, lad. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, but it's in. Mm. Not really. That water bottle. I'm just definitely gonna fall. No, I won't. Thumbs up. Mm. That'll do really good. Back from Mexico because that's like a bit American, you know, close to America, whatever. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I mean, I know you can get these in England, obviously, but um, can I have some nerds? What are you eating? A squares bar. Um, spent a evening, we've had a musical evening, <laughs> been on the piano, Dan's been on his guitar. Look at all these solutions we're finding for not being on our phones. I haven't even watched telly. We are sat on our phones now though. But the time is, what is it, nine o'clock? Half eight? Twenty o'clock in The evenings go so quick. Yeah, we had dinner quite early for us as well. We didn't have it late. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat these and then probably have a cup of tea. I don't have to go to bed like soon and read in bed. Bear. What? Hi, I <coughs> can't speak clearly. Um, are you gonna stay? I am gonna <coughs> end this real quick because I'm taking my makeup off. I don't know if I'm gonna read. What's the time? Quarter past ten. Yeah, I do a bit of reading. Um. And yeah, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon for another video.